Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Amanda. I am the homeschool mom behind Raising A to Z. And as you can tell from the background around me, we are talking about Christmas today. Christmas is my favorite holiday, it is my favorite holiday hands down, no questions asked. Um, and one of the reasons I love Christmas is because there's so many traditions and you know things that come out during the holiday season. I love the music of it. I love the activities that we get to do, the traditions that we get to do as a family. And one of the traditions we started building with our kids back, I think Alexi was, it wasn't her first year, maybe when she was like a year and a half, we started doing an advent activity calendar. And that is what we're gonna talk about today. I am gonna show you how to make an advent activity calendar for your kids. The first thing that you kind of need to do if you're doing an advent activity calendar is figure out what you're gonna do. What activities are you gonna do? So we do an activity from December 1st until December 24th. So that's 24 activities that we do throughout the first 24 days of December. Now, it's very easy to feel overwhelmed with that because sometimes you feel like you have to do something big every single day. We don't. We keep it really chill. Sometimes we do have bigger activities. We might um, go and see Santa at the mall. Um, we might go to a Christmas concert. We might, you know, decorate gingerbread houses. Those are kind of bigger things. But there's also a lot of things that we do in our home that are smaller things, but we still consider them an activity. So a common one for us, is December 1st, we hang the Christmas wreaths on the door. Not a big deal. Um, another day we might write our Christmas lists, um, our wish list, and that's one activity. Then the next day we mail it out to Santa. Those are two different activities in my books. Sometimes we draw a picture um, of something that reminds us of Christmas. Um, we stick wing window clings on the windows, movie night, holiday movie night, like that's a thing around here. The things don't have to be very big, but the fact that you have something to look forward to every day during the holiday season is what we're going for. So we do 24. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. You're saying, Amanda, how do you know like what if you open it up and it's something you just can't do that day? So it does require a little bit of planning. What I'm gonna do is I get out my planner and I'm gonna open it up to December and I'm gonna go through and see what's already on my schedule. And I'm gonna work around that. So for example, I know that there's one Thursday where we have a Christmas concert. We, it's already scheduled in our, our schedule. Um, Stefan and his parent, his mom sing in a Christmas choir and they are doing a Christmas show. It is on this certain day. Boom. I go through and I know that on that day, the activity that's going in the, the 19, the box 19, is going to be go see a Christmas concert. I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm just making my life really easy. Um, I know that on Fridays, typically Fridays are going to be a movie night. So one might be um, an elf movie night. We might do another one where we do Polar Express with hot chocolate. Um, those are gonna be on Fridays, like let's, because that's typically what we do here. We do movie night on Fridays. I'm not reinventing the wheel, I'm just making it a little more festive themed. And by doing this, I can also see if there's a day where we have a lot going on, I can give myself a really simple activity. So for example, on our Science North day, when we head out to Science North and we are gone basically from 9 a.m. until about 3 p.m. and I'm coming home and I know the kids are going to be absolutely exhausted, we do something very simple. It's gonna be it's gonna be a draw a picture kind of day. It might be, um, or it's gonna be like stick the window clings on the window. It might even just be a read a Christmas book kind of day. That's okay. But when I put them in my calendar, I'm gonna use a pencil because the nice thing is if, if something happens, you're like, oh man, we were gonna go, you know, do something really quiet they're really big today we were gonna go have oh a favorite one for us picnic under the Christmas tree but you know what we just got invited out to dinner we have to go we're going out we won't make it home in time to do a picnic under the Christmas tree tonight that's fine I'm gonna erase that out and swap it for something else that I already have planned maybe that is the day when we 
end up reading a Christmas book or we look at the nativity story. Like something that is so much easier for me than setting up a whole big picnic under the Christmas tree. So that's why a pencil can be your best friend because it allows you to swap things out when you need to. That's how I organize things. Then you're saying, Amanda, 24 activities, that's really hard to come up with. I got the solution for you. We designed them. We did this. It's 40 advent calendar activities and they're already on little notes. We did that. So there are 40 different activities, super easy. Um, and all you have to do, you can print them off. This is on our website. It is a downloadable PDF and it is free. All you're gonna do is print them off and then you just cut out the boxes and you cut out the ones you wanna do. I gave you 40 so you have lots of options. We have decorate the gingerbread house, bake holiday cookies, write a wish list, mail Christmas cards, um, have the picnic under the Christmas tree. That is a favorite for us. My kids think that's great. I just cut up a bunch of like crudités and lunch meat and crackers and cheese. We throw a blanket underneath the Christmas tree and we sit on the floor and we eat it. They think it's great. Uh, go to a holiday concert, uh, take pictures of Santa, make paper snowflakes, attend a story time at the mall or the library. Our mall does it with Santa. He, he reads all the stories to the kids. That's a fun one. Um, go Christmas shopping. Christmas shopping, guys. You can make that an activity. Super easy. Kids love it. Um, we drive around the town to see all the lights. Um, we do that really close to Christmas, like the, usually like the 22nd or 23rd, because then you know everyone's got their lights up. That's a big one. Um, have a Christmas carol dance party, set up your nativity scene, decorate your Christmas tree, go for a winter walk, go sliding, ice skating, build a snowman, make ornaments. We always make ornaments. Um, we actually have a video of making ornaments last year. It was one of our first videos um, on raising A to Z, so you can see that here. Um, we built a snowman. Oh, I just said that. Wrapping presents? Yes. We do a day where we just wrap presents. That's our activity. It's something that has to be done, and the kids like to do it. It's great. Uh, draw a picture, um, build a fort, and read a story inside your fort. That's always a hit around here. Attend a party, Christmas Eve service. That is almost always our number 24 is attend a Christmas Eve service. Requires no work on my part. <laughs> you just go and show up. It's great. Um, holiday movie night, uh, watch Polar Express with hot chocolate, visit the neighbors, deliver treats or cards, make a bird feeder, go on a jingle bell or candy cane hunt. That's a really fun activity. Um, if, if you have little like um, bells, you just hide them around your house or you can use candy canes, you just hide them around the house and you say, okay, there's 20 candy canes, go, or 20 bells, and the kids go look for them. Super easy and they think it's a hoot. Um, snowball fights. Uh, some people like to have a do nothing day, which I think is kind of great because there's so much hustle and bustle that having a day where you just like sit around your PJs and just like, whew, is amazing. So um, Christmas tree camp out. We've never done this, but Alexi's asked me to do it three times and it's like November, early November. So I think we will do that eventually. Um, video chat a friend or a relative, send a thank you note to your pastor, your coaches, your teacher, whoever. Um, make a donation to charity, see the Nutcracker, go to a Christmas play, have a Christmas carol sing-along. Um, we have an, or a place here that does that, where one night a year, everyone gets together in the community, we sit down and we sing Christmas carols. That's a lot of fun and it's free. Volunteer with a local charity and make snow angels. So that is 40 activities right there. Like I said, a lot of them are not complicated. They are not difficult to do, but you know, you pick and choose what you want to do and when you want to do them. And then the next part, you just have to figure out a way to display them. So we've done this a couple different ways. Um, one year we did little tins that I put a magnet on the back and stuck them to um, our fridge. That worked okay, um, except for we only have the front of our fridge that's exposed. So every time you close the door, they kind of popped off. If we had a fridge where we could get to the sides, that probably would have worked better. Um, so we don't do that anymore. Uh, last year I used paper bags. Um, I'll put a picture up, but I used little paper bags and I just like wrote numbers on them, put some pretty tape, like washi tape, and then like use clothespins to stick them onto a string of like twinkle lights that were hung in our window. Super easy, not confusing. This year um, I did something a little bit different. Um, I got some of these little uh, celebrate bags. They're little canvas bags. I don't know if you can see this. This is that they're like little canvas bags. I got these from Michael's, my craft store. And all I did was take a little bit of um, fabric paint 
and I just wrote numbers on them. Boom. Super easy. The reason why I like to do a bag, you can do envelopes. Um, I know some people have like a little, they have little wooden things where they have drawers. Some people like to have like uh, little pockets in, in a felt thing. Everyone has a different one. There's times, check Pinterest if you need some inspiration. This is what we're doing. I like one where I can put um, not just the little tag, I'll put it in here, I'll fold it up and put it in, but I can also put um, a treat. So last year we did kisses. I'm not sure what we're gonna do this year, maybe jelly beans, because Alexi's food sensitivities. Um, but I can put like two jelly beans and um, the tag, and then I'm just gonna close it, and I'm gonna hang it. We have two mini Christmas trees that sit in our kitchen, and so the 24 bags are gonna go interspersed, and every morning one of them, it alternates, looks, um, can try to find the next number. So. That is great, that's what we're gonna do. And it's just a lot of fun. We have been doing this, this is our third year doing it, and my kids are already like asking me, like, mom, when can you set up? When is December 1st? When do we get to start? And it's great because some of these activities, there's all these activities are learning activities, and they're so great for just building family time and tradition. And like I said, you can make them fit your family. So like we're obviously, like we like to put the nativity, we put a Christmas Eve service, um, because that's part of our family life and our faith. But like, if that's not you, you don't put them in. You can make it fit your family exactly the way you want. And it just is a great way to bring some great festive holiday cheer to your homeschooling and to your life, because it's just a fun thing to do. So that's what we're doing. We're doing little advent calendars. Remember to click the website below to download your own um, PDF printable. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to subscribe. And you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I can guarantee you, come December 1st, you will start seeing photos of what we're doing on our advent calendar. So, see you guys next time when we talk about another favorite tradition of ours that involves a whole lot of books. Hey, see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> if you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notifications when we upload our latest videos. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to leave us a comment. We'll see you next week for more activities, adventures, and lifelong learning. Bye! Bye.